Hello kids. Good morning all. So, today record your worksheet. Prepositions. Here you have to write your name and today's date. So, let's see. Look at these pictures of Snowy, the naughty kit little kitten. So, you can see a cat and her name is Snowy. His name is Snowy. So, where is Snowy in each picture? So, here we have to find the position of Snowy. Okay, and we have to give some answer. Read what is written below each picture. So, let's see. Snowy is under the table. So, Snowy and table, these are the noun. And here, under is a preposition. So, you can see the Snowy is under the table. Okay. Next sentence. Snowy is on the sofa. So, here, on is a preposition. So, here we can see the position of Snowy. Snowy is on the sofa. Next is, Snowy is in his basket. So, you can see, Snowy is sleeping in his basket. Okay, so in is a preposition. Next is, Snowy is near the bottle of milk. So, you can see the bottle and the Snowy's position. Snowy is near the bottle. Okay, so near is a preposition. Next is, Snowy is behind the curtain. So, you can see here, behind is a preposition. And look at these curtains. So, she is hiding herself behind the curtain. Okay. Next is, there are two trees and Snowy is between the trees. So, Snowy is between the two trees. Just I told that. There are two trees and Snowy is standing between the trees. Okay. So, the words under, on, in, near, behind, between shows the position in which Snowy is. Okay. So, turn your page. Position words. Look at these pictures. Read the words in blue. Behind the door. So, you can see here. The cat is behind the door. So, behind. Near the sink. The girl is standing near the sink. Under the tree. The boy is under the tree. Okay. So, words such as behind, near, in, on, between, around. Or under are called position words. They tell us where someone's or something is. The cat is behind the door as just I told. The girl is near the sink. The boy is under the tree. Okay. After this just we will solve these examples. Okay. Where are the children? Circle the correct position word within brackets. So, here you can see the children they are doing something and we have to circle the correct position word. So, in the bracket in on the seesaw. So, where are the children? On the seesaw. Okay. So, here I circle. Next is near or on the sea. We cannot say that on the sea. They are standing near the sea. Okay. These two children standing near the sea. Turn your page. Some children are playing on the tree or under the tree. Are they playing on the tree? No. They are playing under the tree. So, here under is a preposition. In or behind the table. So, the children are in the table or behind the table. You can see here, they are behind the table. Okay. Next is, behind or in the library. So, you can see there are some cupboards and the students, the children are reading something. So, it means they are in the library. 
in the library not behind okay next is near or on the school so the girl is near the school not on the school okay after this we will see we will write this uh, fill in the blanks write the correct position words on the blanks so the first is i have a night lamp off or near my bed i have a night lamp near my bed okay next is sit dash in or between anil and me so here we can see there are two uh, student or kid we can say anil and me and somebody is telling that to sit between us between so here between is a correct answer sit between anil and me the fruits are dash on or between the table the fruits are on the table the birds flew over or on the tree the birds flew over upar se usko bolte hai the birds flew over the tree means birds upar se udte hai ud rahe hai i have a marble dash near or in my pocket so you can see there are some boys playing with a marble and the boys who is standing near with them he has some marbles and he showing that i have marble in my pocket okay so he also want, wanted to play with him them so he is telling that i have marble in my pocket okay i hope you understood this okay dear students after completing your homework you have to paste this com reading comprehension page in your notebook and we have we are going to solve this so what is mean by reading comprehension so it means to understand what you have read means there are some short stories or passage you have to observe that pictures you have to read it very carefully and try to answer the questions so a few questions are asked at the end of the passage to evaluate how well you have understood the passage or to understood the stories okay so we'll read a very short story about a fluffy so fluffy the cat fluffy is a cat she likes to play fluffy can jump very high okay so this picture you have to observe and you have to try to read this short small sentences and you have to try to answer the following questions so the first question is what kind of animal is fluffy so dog or cat so this short story about cat or dog what kind of animal is this yes this is cat so you have to tick here so what is the picture comprehension you have to observe the picture you have to observe the story okay so second question is what does she like to do what does she like to do she likes to play so run or jump fluffy can jump very high so here they told she likes to jump also so what does she like to do she likes to jump what can fluffy do jump high or walk here is the answer jump very high so jump high okay so after completing your homework you have to solve your reading comprehension and paste this page in your notebook bye have a nice day